Hey y'all, it's your girl Chelsea J and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be my April paycheck number two. Y'all, please forgive me. I know this video is up a little later um, than normal, but life has happened. I went back to work in the office and oh y'all, just, just pray my strength. So, you guys, if you are new here, hello. Thanks for checking out this video. Welcome to the gang gang. If you have not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? It is lit over here. If you are a subscriber, hey, boo, what it do? Welcome back to another video. And let's go ahead and get into this paycheck. And y'all, let me just go ahead and say, let me just say it now. This paycheck was a whole lot of, whole lot of. Like, I <laughs> am stretching this budget to the max. So, mm, y'all. All right. Y'all, it's so much going on. Like, even with my sinking funds, you'll see. Y'all gonna be like, what, girl? Like, huh? Because it's. It's just, it's, it's that crazy. Like, yeah. Like, whoo. All right. So, let's go ahead and do the income. So, for rollover, I'm expecting to roll over $20. For my full-time income, y'all know I don't really share that with y'all um, on here. Mileage, um... I'm expecting zero dollars because let me tell y'all when I was expecting it to get my mileage check it happened a little bit um before which I'm grateful for it because I actually needed that money so I did something totally different with that mileage check and then you guys for the first time in a long time nothing on my Mercari sold so mm, that was a little Mercari normally helps me out a lot, so because it eliminates one of my sinking funds. So that was kind of disappointing. I think I need to go ahead and take all the stuff on there that's listed, take it down, and list some new stuff. All right, so my bills that I do this month, y'all. If I sound like a little bit down, it's honestly because I am because this financial journey is starting to affect me mentally now. Being back in my work office is starting to affect me mentally and physically. Like, I feel like I don't have no time in the day to do anything that I want to do. And I'm always staying up past 12 o'clock. So, I wake up at 6.45 to get ready to go to work. Then, I work from 8 to 5. And then, when I get home, I am trying to... Um, cook dinner get my house in order do all these things and everything is just starting to run me down it's saturday morning and it's a little after 12 and i told myself i was gonna sleep in which i did sleep in a little bit um but i was just tired like y'all yesterday after work i took a nap from like i want to say like because i went and got my nails done by the time i got home it was like Four. I want to say I took a nap from like five until nine and then I woke up um took a shower and everything and then got right back in the bed and went right back to sleep so that's how tired I am both physically and mentally so yeah I just it's a whole lot going on but anyway so that's why if I sound a little off that's probably why so my Navy Fed credit card is due on the 15th and I'm budgeting $200. Y'all, let me tell y'all about this credit card and how it's pissing me off. Okay, so y'all know I break it down into two payments. Well, my interest is, I noticed my interest hits after the pay period. I mean, after it's due. So my interest normally hits on the 16th. So I think me splitting it up into two is kind of working because I always wait to after the 15th and then when my interest hits, I pay. It's two hundred dollars, but for instance, for someone who isn't paying attention to that, they would like if they weren't able to split their um split their payments in half, they will always get caught by the interest. If that makes sense to you guys, it makes sense to me though. 
all right so instant ink which y'all i might cancel this like i love having instant ink but i might cancel it it's the one of 25th and six dollars so when i was working from home i was using my own printer so instant ink was good to have but now that i'm not working from home i'm back in the office i'm kind of debating if i even really need instant ink or if I could go back down to a lower plan because I was at the lower plan and then when I was working from home, I boosted the plan back up. So yeah, I need to look at that. Car payment is due on the 28th. Let's see, $482. Hulu is due on the 25th. Y'all see how it's all out of order, right? <laughs> and that's seven dollars. This might be something else I can get rid of, but honestly, I watch Snowfall on Hulu. If you watch Snowfall, let me know down below. I'm in the fourth season, but I'm not caught up to where you guys are at yet because you know my life is just crazy. So, but I so I watch Snowfall on Hulu, and I know Handmaid's Tale is coming back out, and I need to kind of get caught up on that but i'm not even sure if i like that show whatever so i'm just trying to figure out if i'm really going to keep hulu you guys i've always had hulu but i used to not pay for it because i used to have sprint and when you have sprint you can get hulu for free but then i switched to a family plan with my husband at t-mobile because it was cheaper and so i lost the free hulu so now i'm just trying to figure out if i really want to keep it also, you guys, if you don't know, I do invest into Acorns and they charge like a dollar subscription fee a month. Um, I thought it was free. My husband led me the wrong way. Whatever. So, hey, there's that. All right. Also, gas this month, I am going to budget $40 for it. Last month, I went over my gas budget, y'all, but I didn't take into consideration that I was going to be going to Columbia to, not last month, last paycheck. I didn't take into consideration that I was going to be going to Columbia to get my hair braided, so that was my bad. And I am adding back in a buffer because my paycheck one was a whole mess, and I realized, you know what, Chelsea, you actually need a buffer. So let's go ahead and check out what our expenses for um this month is gonna be i keep saying this month i mean this paycheck let's see what our expenses for this paycheck is gonna be so how have you guys been doing i hope your budget has been going better than mine i hope your life <laughs> has been going better than mine not that my life is bad it's just hectic right now all right so 761 dollars is my bill total all right guys so let's jump into the cash envelopes and the cash envelopes in the sinking funds is what had to take the hit the most now you guys what i am kind of confused about in my budget is i feel like i have less bills on this pay period but i always have less money left over and i'm not sure why that is so I need to take a look into that all right so the cash envelopes that i'm sinking i'm sinking i'm stuffing this pay period is going to be black friday and y'all how i decided what i'm actually going to be stuffing is stuff that i had like true goals for oh i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna show y'all that black friday personal care well, since I started, I might as well go ahead. Household. My pen is starting to skip in this book, and I don't know why. Blow money, because, yeah. Okay, so I'm giving myself blow money for this reason only. My coworker has a birthday this month. And so what happens is when my coworker has a birthday or any coworker of mine has a birthday, we go out to a birthday dinner. So I need a little bit of extra blow money in case my let's go eat money doesn't 
work because which I'm giving myself $25 because I don't know where we're going yet. She she hadn't decided as of Friday. So everybody's just going to come into Monday to a surprise, which I kind of don't like because I kind of want to look at the menu, first of all, and make sure it's a place that I'm going to be able to eat. And second of all, make sure it's not a place that's like busting heads. But I talked to my other coworker and she said it's normally under $20. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Cause push come to shove, I'll just get an appetizer and call it a day. And then my subscription, of course, is getting $15 because y'all know I want to take that line item away. So also going back to the whole, let's go out to eat thing. I'm supposed to be on like this weight loss journey. So I really am trying to limit myself to what I am eating out. So that was another thing with that, but hmm. so for cash envelopes, $163 is what we gonna put in. Oh, excuse me. Like, I don't know why I keep burping y'all. All right, let's go over to my sinking funds. My sinking funds this month is also gonna be kind of sad, you guys, because listen it just is not in the budget okay so what i decided to do with this is if it's a if it's a sinking fund that i kind of want to stuff but it's not like a huge priority i'm only putting in five and if it was one of the sinking funds that i normally stuff but i couldn't put the full amount i decided to divide it into half and just put the half amount i did that with everything except for Christmas and my birthday and then car, but I'll explain why in a little bit. So vacation um, is getting $5. And y'all, my husband, I know I had said we was supposed to go to Tennessee at the end of this month, but my husband hasn't said anything about it. So maybe we're not going. Car is $15. Car is getting $15 because I need to take my car to get an oil change and I need to take it to get a safety check. Because it's under a recall for something. Now, that's going to be free. But I think my oil change is normally between like $60 to $70. Well, it was in Washington State. I don't know how much it's going to be here. So, I just want to make sure I'm prepared. And then this upcoming Saturday, I'm going to take it. Like, I was going to take it this Saturday. But something came up. My husband had to work. I was being lazy, didn't want to take it over there on my own, but you know what? Next Saturday, if he has to work again or whatever the case may be, I'm just going to go over there on my own. All right, so for my husband's birthday, uh, let's see, he's getting $6 because that's half of what he normally gets. My B day is getting $22 because with everything i'm going through right now i'm treating myself to something nice for my birthday anniversary it's gonna get six dollars um medical is gonna get five you guys i normally put in my copay amount but i just decided to put in five because i don't have any doctor's appointments coming up but i do know that I'm probably gonna need a refill on my medicine so i just put in five um and hopefully next paycheck i can go back to doing 21 because it is another doctor that i need to set up an appointment with like i need to set up an appointment with my OBGYN or find an OBGYN to set up my appointment because i like to have a primary care doctor and then an OBGYN. i don't know why but for me i just like to go see a doctor that specializes in what it is that i'm going for i know that a lot of people or a lot of females go to their primary care doctor for everything but i don't know like i guess it's just depending on how you grew up um my mom always had two separate doctors so i stick with two separate doctors let me know if you guys are like that like if you like to go to um the particular type of doctor for what they specialize in because i know some people don't and it's nothing wrong with that it's just i don't <laughs> valentine's is getting six dollars and christmas i kind of went out of order you guys because i forgot about christmas and how i forgot about christmas i don't know it's getting 50 dollars. so let's see what we are stuffing 
five plus fifteen plus six plus twenty two plus six plus five plus six plus fifty equals one fifteen. I think that's like the lowest I have stuffed. All right, you guys, and I know normally I cross out this extra debt section, but this month I'm actually not canceling it out because I am doing the Make It Rain Challenge, y'all. So I'm doing the Make It Rain Challenge. It's right here by a Garden of Thoughts and Rab's Wallet. And what happens is for every day in the month of April that it rain or snows, depending on where you're at. So for me, South Carolina, it's definitely going to be rain. Um, You put $10 towards a debt payment. So that extra $10 will go towards my navy federal credit card because that's the one i'm focusing on so as you can see here i'm breaking it up into my pay periods so the first through the 15th um no the first through the 14th if it rained any of those days it would have went towards this paycheck which it did it rained one day so i budgeted um ten dollars for it and so that extra $10 is going to go towards my Navy Federal Credit Card. So for my next pay period, any days that it rains between the 15th and the 30th, that is what I have to put to the make it rain. You guys, extra savings. We're just going to cross that out this month because I did get a mileage check, but I already spent it. So yeah, this is what my um april paycheck two budget is looking like if you have stuck around this far thanks so much sis or bruh for sticking around and watching the video stay tuned because i do have a cash envelope and sinking funds videos coming up i can't wait to stuff those because even though it's not as much as i would normally stuff slow progress is still progress if you are still watching and you have not already, go ahead and do your girl a favor. Click that subscribe button for me. Like, y'all, I'm trying. I really am trying. Like, I'm sitting here today and I'm filming video after video so that I can get them up because um, this YouTube thing I am passionate about. So, yeah, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you have not. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs>